calculus is split into two. And the first part of the calculus is what we call differentiation. And the other part of calculus is called integration. Differentiation is basically the gradient, finding the gradient. That's what differentiation is, gradient. And integration is basically finding the area. And gradient, there are two types of gradients that we know of. And there are two types. One is called the constant gradient. And the other one is called the variable. gradient. Constant gradient is, basic, is basically the gradient of a line. So if you have your y-axis and you draw your x-axis here and your curve is a straight line, what that meant is if you pick any point, two points, you need two points to find a gradient, any two points, and that point is point one and point two. Each point has its own coordinate, x2, y2, let's call that point two, not point one. And this point is x1, y1. Now, that point, if I extend the line there and to that point there, so that can, they can meet. Now, this is your X1, as you can see, and this is your X2. And this is your Y1 and that's your point y2. So this point here, that distance here, is going to be y2 minus y1. And this length here, this one here, is going to be x2 minus x1, because x2 is bigger than x1. y2 is bigger than y1. And so the gradient of that line, as you know, we need two points to find a gradient. And the gradient of that line is called, uh, we, so we call that gradient, well, we can call this line, this y2 minus y1 delta or dx, dy. And x2 minus x1 is called dx. dy, it means difference in y, that means change in y. You change from y1 to y2. And dx is change in x, difference in x. Difference means take away. So x2 minus x1. And the gradient, which is also called the slope, will be equal to changing y over changing x, or difference in y over difference in x. And the y and the x are called differentials. That's the name, differentials, because they're different. One is different from the other one, so you find the difference between them. And you can also notice that um, this gradient has an angle theta. And you can see, if we use Sokatoa, we've got the opposite over adjacent, 
And that also is called tan gent of that theta, which is also called dy dx. So the gradient slope, which is the gradient, is also called tangent of an angle theta, which is differential of y, difference in y over difference in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, the gradient along this line is uniform. That means it's constant. It's the same. It doesn't matter where you take your point from. Every point here is the same. The gradient of this line are all the same. And that's why it's called constant gradient. That means the gradient doesn't change along that line. It's constant. And that's a constant gradient. The y and the x are called differentials. And the tangent... That line is called a tangent line. It has an angle, which is theta. And tangent of theta is dy opposite over adjacent, which is toa. So you toa. And toa implies opposite over adjacent. And that's what we have, opposite over adjacent. So tan of theta is also called dy dx, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The variable gradient, on the other hand, is a curve which is not uniform but rather which is changing so if i draw a curve for the variable gradient like that if i draw a y-axis and the x-axis in that format now the curve here will be not a straight line but rather a curve let's go in like that a curve going like that and this is y and this is x. But the gradient along this point will be changing from every point. It will be different. It will be varying, hence variable. That means the gradient varies, it changes. So the gradient here is, let's say that's zero gradient. You can see I'm just drawing a tangential line there. So that's a zero gradient. And you can see another tangent a gradient there will be different, a gradient there will be different. So you can see the gradient there is increasing as I go along. So that's increasing, unlike this one, which is constant line, but this line is not, it's changing as you go along. So therefore, you have to pick a particular point to find a gradient. For instance, I may have to pick this point here to find a gradient, so I'm picking that point which means I have to pick two points along that line, one and two, and turn that tangential line and use the application of constant gradient to find the gradient of that line. So we have to do this. So we have to draw a line down and draw a line to that. So that will be the gradient for that particular point. And the gradient for that particular point is this line here because the gradient are the same along that line but and that line included, but not this one, not that one, not that one, not that one. So again, this will be changing y over changing x. Differential of y over differential of x. And so that's how you find the constant gradient. You just pick two points, find the change of y over changing x. For variable gradient, it means the gradients are not the same. They are varying. So you have to pick a specific instant inst point to find your gradient. And that's why variable gradients are different from constant gradient. With the area, so differentiation basically means gradient. You're finding the gradient of a line, the slope of a line. Integration, on the other hand, means you're finding the area. The differentiation means you're finding the slope, the gradient of a line. To find an area, again, integration comes in two parts. So we have constant integration. So I'm going to draw the line here for integration. That's for constant. And we might have another one here for 
not constant, but variable integration. So that's constant area and variable area. Right, so in this case, with the constant area, if you just have an object like that, and you want to find the area of that object, you can see this one is, that point would be, so if I have the Y axis and X axis like that, just to make it look realistic. And this point here will be X1 and that point will be X2. So the difference between X1 and X2 is the X, differential of X, and the height here, uh, from there to there is y, so again that's y there, the height, let's assume the height is y. And the area of a rectangle is height times width, so the area A will be y times the x. So that's how you find the area of a constant object. But an object which is not constant, so if you have your graph and you have a curve, say like that, and you want to find the area. Well, in this instance, you have to draw a line and break that into little pieces, tiniest pieces, like a strip of, and keep the distance the same. So that will be little dx is, and y is the height here, that's the height y. And so the more of those, you find the area by making them so slim, you can add these areas together. And so let's say you start at A and you finish at B, you will find the area on that point. You have to really bring them so close together. And to find the area here, you have to do area for this variable will be summation. That means S means you're summing them. So that's a long kind of S, which is called integral into integral so that's what that meant it means summation you're adding all the areas together so that'd be y the height times dx little dx is from a that's where you start to b and that's actually where you get that's how you apply integrations you you add them all up together and you try and minimize error. There will still be errors, little, little tiny errors, but we come to a point where we would have no errors in this situation. So that's Y and that is X. So that's how you find the area using uh, um, little differences in X and multiplying by the Y, the function of Y. So that's integration. I've been using the word y2 minus y1. What that meant is y subscript 2 and y subscript 1. This is x subscript 2 and x subscript 1. So in English language, x would be a script. So that's a script. Now, if you put 2 here, that would be a subscript, it's like a submarine. So like underwater, submarine, subscript. And if you put two up there, that's called superscript. So that's like a Superman flying, superscript, superscript. So that's like a Superman flying. So let's just make it clear. X is a script x squared, which in maths is a power, but in English, it's actually super script. And what about the, not x squared, what about the x subscript? So that's a sub script. And this X here is just a script. So it's worth uh, remembering those. Uh, so that's a 
superscript here and that's just a script so those ones are really important now so calculus calculus is dealing with gradient and area and we call the gradient differentiation process and we call the area integration process there are two types of gradients that we can look at constant gradient uniform gradient uniform means constant and variable means changing varying gradients of a curve area you can have a constant area here and you can have a variable area 